After the magic circle, let's carry on with something magical. This time it's going to be a magic hat. So let's see what's in the magic hat. Oops, a rabbit. Sorry rabbit, not today. Let's see what else is in there. Hmm, look at this. These are lovely ladies' handkerchiefs. So let's see what we can make out of these. When it's summertime and the weather is really hot, the girls would like to wear something nice and airy but it still has to be very pretty. So this is why we're going to be making summer dresses. This is the very few occasions when I'm actually going to show you the finished product first, because it's so simple and it's difficult to imagine how it, would, how it is going to look like. Well, this is the finished product. It's going to be a summer dress made out of two squares, traditionally scarves, but we are going to be using ladies', ladies handkerchief. All we need to do, we have to create two seams. So it's an easy job. You can do it by hand, just as well as with, with the machine. There's going to be one seam running across the front, and then there's going to be another one joining the middle of two sides. So let's get started. Ladies' handkerchiefs usually come in multiple packages, but you have to be careful because usually there's just one of each design and you, you need two of each. So you probably have to order two packages. Again, this is an excellent opportunity to share it with your friends. So we have the two packages and then we can match up the patterns. So this would be one dress. This would be another one and so on. Well, for, from this package, this is my favorite. And also it has an asymmetrical pattern, so it will look very nice as a dress. First of all, we have to match up the patterns. This is not going to be symmetrical, it's going to be a mirror image of each other. So have to be careful. This is going to be the front and the flowers are going to be at the sides of the dress. There are lots of variations. You can buy handkerchiefs made out of lace, beautifully colored fabrics. The only thing is that they usually not very precisely made. So there are going to be slight variations. So I made my choice. I'm going to be using this one here. First thing to do is to cut out the little tags. You have to wash them and iron them, just like any other new items. Now we have to make sure that we match up the patterns as mirror images to each other. So this is going to be the front. Now the front seam is going to be the two sides overlapping each other. This will be the top, this will be the bot front bottom of the dress. We are going to be making the seam two and a half inches from the top. So a measure of two and a half inches, mark it with a pin. Adjust the seam, put in another pin, and then I'm going to sew it down with the machine. Because 
because it's a very fine fabric you have to make sure that it stays nice <laughs> So we have our first seam, now we have to make the second one. For that we're going to have it on the wrong side. Tidy up the threads a bit. On the wrong side of the fabric, this is the top. We know because there's the two and a half inches opening for the front. Right, and this is the back of the dress. So we're going to be measuring out six inches. This is the top of the dress and we're going to put a pin in there. Also going to me measure down six inches. This will be to the two end points of the back seam and we are going to iron it down. Now that it's all flat, we are going to remove the pins and sew down the seam. Lift up the corner Position it under the machine and sew the seam. Our dress is almost ready. All we have to do is press down the seam and make straps. Turn it the right side up. Now all we need to do is sew two straps. <laughs> 